Good morning from a very chilly and a little bit damp Lanzarote this morning and as you can see down there is the new cruise terminal and you know I like to keep you updated with how it's going so we're up here we're starting with a bird's eye view from the one and only Popeye's sports bar great for fish and chips if I've not told you that already and uh, one thing they've put down here down the bottom there is the trampolines so they've moved the trampolines down there so if you've got kids they can uh, jump around to the heart's content but you can see the sun's coming up I think it's gonna be a nice day yeah, it's just a bit chilly this morning so we're gonna head down take you for a walk around the cruise terminal and if it's there I might be able to show you this new boat which is gonna be called the mini Fred Olsen which is the a smaller version of the big Fred Olsen for foot passengers only that'll rattle a few feathers won't it anyway let's get down there and have a look so here we are back in the chaos now, if you are coming down here to get the ferry, get down early, because look, it is a little bit confusing. Although somebody on Facebook did point out to me that it's not confusing at all. But for some people it is. Uh, and I've lived here a long time, and I know coming down here, when you're used to going somewhere, uh, it can be a little bit confusing. Is it that way, is it that way, where's the offices? So I'm gonna show you anyway. Um, but just to let you know, there's the taxis. So if you're wondering why they're not in town, well, this morning they're here because of the ferries. But there's one, two, three, four taxis. Now, as we've said before, when these cruise ships come in, where are the taxis gonna be? How many taxis are they gonna need? They're gonna have to in massively increase the amount of taxis. You can see loads of things going on down here. We've got access that way. Um, yeah, so, you know, which way do you go? We're gonna go this way. And this is the way for the Fred Olsen. So we'll go this way. But as somebody pointed out on, on their Facebook, a keyboard warrior, I like to call them, and said it's, uh, it's not difficult at all. Him and his wife found it very easy. So that must mean it's the same for everybody, eh? Never mind. Look, you can see that they've had a good lick of paint on the big building. The glass looks like it's all in now and the walkways are done. So again, the road is already in use for people getting the ferry and the walkways are looking good. And here you go, look, this is what this side looks like. I'm assuming that's gonna be a car park. It would be good for a bit of parking. There's always been a, a smaller car park there, but uh, they're gonna need a bigger one, aren't they? And I would assume a taxi rank, who knows? But there has been a few problems with taxis in Playa Blanca town, with people having to wait 45 minutes for a taxi. So just to make you aware of that, and uh, I know I always say I hate them yellow scooters, but they solve a problem, don't they? Maybe that's why they're still here. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're still here. I've always asked, I've always wondered the question, why are the taxi drivers not kicking and screaming about the yellow scooters? Because it's obviously taking away their business, especially in Porto del Carmen, where many people just got a quick taxi ride up to their accommodation and things. Well, now they've got these yellow scooters, they just hop on one of them. As dangerous as it is, they do it when they're drunk as well. But I have wondered why they've allowed that because the taxi drivers have quite a quite a big push and uh, on in, in Lanzarote here we go I'm sure I'm not allowed in here but you know what just for you I'll risk getting into trouble so this looks like it's going to be the car park and this looks like it's going to be a building for something I'm not sure what but I'm certainly gonna get myself into trouble here, feel me. But it's huge, look. That'll be the main, main building for something. Should we go and have a look through the window? The things I do for you, you better make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to this video. Because if I get arrested, I'm gonna have to set a GoFundMe up to get me out. There you go, look, there's a little look inside. Exclusive. Now I better get out of here. 
before I get done. So it looks like that could be the car park for this building here. So what are they gonna build over where the ticket, ticket offices are that I showed you a minute ago? Wonder what that's gonna be if it's not gonna be a car park. It's exciting times, isn't it? There's a lot of development going on. Um, obviously this, the new hotel, there's loads of things going on. Certainly gonna get in trouble. So yeah, um, and this looks like it could be a sort of car park area as well. Huge area. It's a shame they can't move some of this car park space up to Porta del Carmen because it's a nightmare up there. So there you go, here's with all the uh, all the ferries and things. Beautiful sunrise, look, the sun is coming out. It's gonna be a nice day. Just a little bit damp this morning. And here's another view of the other side of this building. Huge. That's been the main building structure. Um, so yeah, everything's building, 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 building. And um, I know this summer's gonna be huge. This summer's gonna be massive. And um, there's a massive influx of people. I think next week, the whole island is at capacity of 94%. Excursions are full. Um, I can't get you a catamaran cruise until next Monday and it's now Wednesday. So if you are coming, and I know I always say this, um, we do deal with excursions. So there's a link below. If you click that, you can book your excursions in advance and not be disappointed. Now, while summer, I think is gonna be busy, obviously with the cost of living and everything going up all over the world, will this be the last summer? What do you think? Because it's been an amazing summer just gone and an amazing winter, but let's face it, we were locked away for two years. Um, so this is the first holiday for everybody. And, you know, uh, many people are spending as well when they're here. So they're coming away and they're spending their money, uh, which is fantastic for the economy, fantastic for local businesses. But is it gonna last? Um, obviously, some a lot of people have suffered through COVID, but a lot of people have come out the other end better off uh, with being paid paid and staying at home and not going to work and not buying five five and ten five five pound coffees for for work and lunch and things like that so some people have come out come back out of covid with, with disposable income uh, and obviously it's their first holiday so they've gone mad and they've spent 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 which is great fantastic but how long is it going to last what are your thoughts on that um do you think this will be the last summer of um, really busy and 2023 could be a quiet one or back to normal um, because although Lanzarote summers are always busy I've never seen anything like this where things are so full um, so it is important if you are coming away to get your excursions and anything booked ferry tickets everything even the aqua park aqua lava is turning people away this week um, you know they're saying we can't we can't take any more people we're full so please one word of advice get yourself booked on so there is a little sign here the embarking for Linnaeus Romero and uh, their fast foot passenger ferry is over there I've showed you that before and there is a little rumor that there's a little Fred Olsen I thought it might be down here so I'll be able to show you and um, but it's not so I will ask and see what's going on with that but there may be another Fred Olsen a mini one which is for passengers only and uh, that is gonna cause a few problems so this is where you get the tickets for the Fred Olsen and the tickets for the armor so the offices are still there and if you come down here you can get your tickets and then here is the foot passenger one uh, and this is the most value for money at the moment, although summer prices are going up. So we will see. It's gonna be an interesting time. And this is the old boat as well. So this is the foot passenger boat, but it's not the new one. I think the new one, ah, okay. So that's one of their boats. And the new one, the new ferry is actually that way. So you have to go there 
So you have to come down here to the office and then you have to go up there. So it's on the other side. So again, if you are coming down, make sure to get here early because this is the other Linnaeus Romero boat. This is the older one. I'm not sure what they're using that for now. Um, you got another little boat here, which does like a, a chill out private cruise as well. Uh, and that's it. So there you go. A little look at the Playa Blanca Harbour. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you soon in the next one. And I'm going to go and find out about that mini Fred Olsen. Keep it in the back of your mind. I'm going to have all the information soon. See you soon. Thanks very much.